Ah, there you are. Pull up a chair by the fireside. I'm going to tell you a story, but it's not for the faint of heart. My name is Julia Norton, and you're listening to Dark and Twisty Tales, a weekly telling of the lesser-known and more grisly folk stories and fairy tales. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. The Mouse, the Bird and the Sausage A mouse, a bird and a sausage decided to set up home together. For a long time they carried on happily, living within their means and even managing to save a little. The bird's job was to go into the forest every day and bring back wood for the fire. The mouse had to get water from the well, make the fire and lay the table, and the sausage did the cooking. But we're never content with living well if we think we can live better. One day, as the bird was in the forest, he met another bird and boasted about his pleasant way of life. The other bird only called him a poor dupe. What do you mean? Well, who's doing the lion's share of the work? You are. You have to fly back and forth, back and forth, carrying heavy bits of wood, while the other two take it easy. They're taking advantage of you. Make no mistake about it. The bird thought about it. It was true that after the mouse had lit the fire and carried the water in, she usually went to her little room and had a snooze before getting up in time to lay the table. The sausage stayed by the pot most of the time, keeping an eye on the vegetables, and from time to time he'd slither through the water to give it a bit of flavouring. If it needed some seasoning, he'd swim more slowly. That was more or less all he did. When the bird came home with the wood, they'd stack it neatly by the fire, sit down to eat, and then sleep soundly till the next day. That was how they lived, and a fine way of life it was. However, the bird couldn't help thinking about what the other bird had said, and the next day he refused to go and gather wood. I've been your slave long enough, he declared. You must have taken me for a fool. It's high time we tried a better arrangement. But this works so well, said the mouse. You would say that, wouldn't you? Besides, said the sausage, this suits our different talents. Only because we've never tried to do it any other way. The mouse and the sausage argued, but the bird wouldn't be denied. Finally, they gave in and drew lots, and the job of gathering wood fell to the sausage, of cooking to the mouse, and of fetching water and making the fire to the bird. What happened? After the sausage went out to gather some wood, the bird lit the fire and the mouse put the saucepan on the stove. Then they waited for the sausage to come back with the first load of wood. But he was gone so long that they began to worry about him. So the bird went out to see if he was all right. Not far from the house, he came across a dog licking his lips. You haven't seen a sausage, have you? Yeah, I just ate him. Delicious. What do you mean? You can't do that. That's appalling. I'll have you up before the law. He was fair game. There's no sausage season that I know of. He certainly was not fair game. He was innocently going about his business. This is outright murder. Well, that's just where you're wrong, chum. He was carrying forged papers, and that's a capital crime. Forged papers? I've never heard such nonsense. Where are they? Where's your proof? I ate them too. There was nothing the bird could do. In a fight between a dog and a bird, there's only one winner, and it isn't the bird. He turned back home and told the mouse what had happened. Eaten, she said. Oh, that's dreadful. I shall miss him terribly. It's very sad. We'll have to do the best we can without him, said the bird. The bird laid the table while the mouse put the finishing touches to the stew. She remembered how easily the sausage had managed to swim round and round to season it and thought she could do the same. So she clambered onto the saucepan handle and launched herself in. But either it was too hot and she suffocated or else she couldn't swim at all and she drowned. But at all events, she never came out. 
When the bird saw the vegetable stew coming to a boil with a dead mouse in it, he panicked. He was making up the fire at the time, and in his shock and alarm, he scattered the burning logs all over the place and set fire to the house. He raced to the well to get some water to put it out, but got his foot caught in the rope, and when the bucket plunged down the well, down he went with it. So he was drowned, and that was the end of them all. Thank you for listening to Dark and Twisty Tales. If you liked what you heard, please subscribe on iTunes, rate, review and share with all your friends. You can also get more information about me, Julia Norton, at julianorton.com. So, until the next time, bye. Bye.